Hello guys and welcome to Brewmaster's Beer uh, Simulator. Um, yeah, title says what it is, you're a brewmaster, you make beer. So I'm actually looking forward to this one to be honest with you, I am. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's another demo, there's going to be a few new demos out. Um, which hopefully guys will enjoy and want to see more of. Um, if you do, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the notification button, uh, leave a comment down below, go and check my links out, and uh, yeah, do all that jazz. But let's get to it, I want to brew some beer. You guys do as well, don't you? So let's do this, okay? Um, so welcome to the Brewmasters demo. To get started, pick up the Brewer's Quarterly magazine to find a job and recipe. The Brewer's Quarterly can be found near the entrance to the workshop. I found it. How do I pick it up? E to read. Right, okay. Greetings, Brewer. Do you know what the best thing about brewing beer is? People want to drink it. Few folks in the world are more popular than a home brewer. I've sent you a copy of the Brewer's Quarterly, a magazine run by the Community Brew Club, including yours truly. Each issue contains a bounty for home brews, recipes, articles, a catalogue, and last but not least, jobs. Which brings me back to your popularity. A brewer's services are always in demand, and jobs are a great way to earn an income whilst increasing your brewing mastery. Why not give one a go? Okay. Right, the magazine for home brewers. Brewers Quarterly, Spring Edition, New Recipes, American Stout Extract, American Pale Ale Extract, and British Strong Ale. Job opportunities, Dark Matter, and Sensational Citrus. Oh, they sound like they tickle the taste buds just right. Right, okay, so we have two jobs. Dark Matter and Sensational Citrus, obviously, it did say that. Requirements for Dark Matter are batch size is small, use the ingredient Dark Malt Extract. Bonus requirements, SRM is at least at 20. A local band wished to mark the release of the first record, a space-themed concept album with a beer. As dark as the depths of the universe. Quarterly readers are invited to submit an appropriately dusky brew. Just tips, the recipe, American Stout Extract, is ideal for this job as uses dark malt extract. Rewards, uh, one mastery, 20 beer tokens. Bonus reward, one mastery. Difficulty, straightforward. Okay, so Stout is a very dark or black beer, it's usually with a long lasting head, often heavy bodied, though not always high ABV. Um, malt extract, a sugary syrup used in extracting brewing. Malt extract is a condensed result of mashing grains to extract the fermentable sugars and as such can be used to skip that step and simplify brewing. Okay, let's do this one first. Ah, I can do, I can click more than one apparently. What's this for? Oh, that, okay, so that's once I've done, I've got to submit. Okay, so let's have a look at job two then. Sensational citrus. Requirements, batch size is small, contains the flower notes, citrus. Bonus requirements, IBU is at least 20. Uh, the organisers of the local food festival are looking for a special beer to celebrate this year's theme of sensational citrus and welcome submissions from quarterly readers. Just tips. The recipe, just tips, eh? I bet he's got tips, right? The recipe, American Pale Ale, extract, as required citrus as flavoured. No, so Pale Ale is the classic pale beers that are often associated with summer drinking and sunshine, where the clarity, colour and bright white head look spectacular. Spectacular. Um, flavor notes are specific flavor contributed by various ingredients. They range from familiar, familiar flavors such as caramel to unique flavors such as horse blanket. All ingredient types can provide flavor notes, but hops and yeast generally have the most complex offerings. Rewards: more mastery. A Roke Digital bottle cap. Bottle cap start off the logo of the Roke Digital. Okay. And uh, bonus is twenty-five beer tokens. We don't. Ha we can't do two. We can only do one. All right. Okay. That's <laughs> that's fine. Uh, e for recipes. Oh. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's have a look then. Right. Let's get this. 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 Crack down to nitty gritty. So in order to make the dark matter, which we we'll do first. Okay. Um. The recipe we need is the American Stout extract, which if we go to recipes is the American Stout extract. Recipe one of three. How do we go to the next page? Oh, yeah, okay. American Pale Ale, British Strong Ale. So, American Stout Extract. Um, holy shizzle. Instructions, equipment, grains, hops, yeast, other ingredients. Steps. 
five, six, seven, eight. No, we've got 17 steps, not eight. Uh, flavor notes, chocolate, floral, resin, coffin, pine, plus five more. Standard flavors, description, right, okay. So we need to pin this recipe. And let's get to it. Uh, where do we go? Advancing scene is not a wedding demo. Okay, so where do, where, where do we go? Into the kitchen? Complete a job. Yep. How do I get started on this job then? Oh, um, green is covered. Equipment covered. Ah, okay, so equipment. Um, H for build mode. Oh. Alright, okay. Open items. Okay, so we could decorate our place, which is... Alright, okay. Um, do you like that? Uh, tip was to build our next. You can move friends to decoration in a workshop. You won't be able to interact with brute equipment. Righty yo. Um, if I need... Do I need... Right, add 21 litres of water to brew container and heat. Yeah, well, I need equipment first, right? Uh, F1 track job. No, we need uh, recipes. Uh, American stout. Oh my god, okay. So, equipment, brew container, fermentation container, and conditioning container. Okay. Stainless steel pot. So, we need a fermentation container. Uh, did I just retrieve that? I think I did, didn't I? Did I just retrieve that? Ah, oh, no, I've got to do that. Right, okay, so that's in there. Uh, plastic barrel. Two. Oh, so it's... Okay, so it's it, it literally the stuff that's... Yeah, so I need to do that. Probably grab that as well. Right, okay. How do I set this up? Stainless steel pot. Am I literally just like placing anywhere? I am just literally placing anywhere. Right, okay. Well, how do I set this up? This game not going to tell me how to set this up. Oh, come on. Don't say I've got to... Oh, God. Right, okay. Ah, tip. Containers can be found in the equipment cupboard. Alright, okay. So, we need a pot. Need to fill it with water. Uh, how do I? Can I? Oh, remove the lid with V. Okay, at twenty-one liters. Okay, so we are ever so close to the 21 litres. Let's see how close I can get to exactly 21. Ah, oh, what? Ah! That was a bug. That. I, so I turned it off and it was still showing it was going. Because I pressed it obviously a bit too quick. But we're just over 21. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. Okay, so we need to place it on the kitchen hob and now heat it to 65. Um, set temperature. How do I set the temperature? Oh, where, 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 where's the temperature? <laughs> where's, the te where's the temperature? Uh, how do I know it was 65? Oh, okay. So, you got to be rather quick in turning things off and turning things on then, I take it. Okay. Um, this is going to take some time, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is... That's on full. And we're only at 12. So, yeah, this is definitely going to take some time. So, uh, okay, let's retrieve malt extract from fridge. Might as well. Dark malt extract. 
Oh my god, there is loads. We're doing a dark mall, aren't we? Yeah? Oh my god, what? Dark malt retrieve. Okay, let's uh, all right. uh retrieve malt extract from the fridge freezer and to brew container. Dark malt extract three kilograms. How are we doing, Vicky? Wow, loads of weight. <laughs> I forgot that. We want three kilos. Uh, retrieve. Oh, retrieve one. Retrieve two. Tree three. Tree three kilos. Let's place them there. How are we doing? Fifteen degrees. Oh my. Jeez. It's going to take forever. It's going to take forever. Retrieve steeple grain from the greens cupboard and add the brew, uh, to brew container black patent steeple 800 grams. Black paint and steeple, 800 grams. We do this in one? We can, 800 grams. 800 grams. Right, now we got to wait on... Oh my god, it's only 17 degrees. Alright, I'll be back again. Alright, oh, okay, so... Obviously, I was like, well, but it's, you know, I had the lid off, so I put the lid back on for the speed it up. And it's still rather slow, but then you can speed up time. Ah. Look at that there. I've just gone past it. Crap. <laughs> Down. Down. Alright. I need to cool it down now. I went too fast. I'm excited about the speed of time, but I went too fast. Uh, we're at 66, so let's see if we can just speed it up a little bit to knock it down a little bit. Right, okay. Um, so we need to now balance this temperature. Alright. I'll take it that's still decreasing. It is. Need to get this balance, guys. That's still losing heat. That's still losing a lot of heat quick. I want to get my first beer, you know. Perfect, yeah? No, don't pick up. Oh, crap. Maybe a little bit more. Too much. Alright, okay, so I think we're there. Now we've got to put the malt extract in. So we'll grab that one. Uh, pour into. How do we pour? Oh, I see, okay. Um, what we got to do? Three kilograms. We've got to, we just got to put all this in. Okay, stop pouring. Put that back in there so we know which one's done. Do the next one. No! Crap. Wrong button. Oh, here we go. ASMR time, guys. That's definitely some ASMR shit. That one and then this one. This should be the three kilos. We 
Right. How are we diddling? How are we diddling? Temperature has gone down a little bit, so let's turn it up a slight tad. Um, let's put the lid back on as well. I think adding, obviously adding the extract didn't, you know, didn't suffice. That knocked down the temperature because it's cold extract it's from the fridge. Okay. Um, what else we're doing? Retrieve steeple grain. We gotta put the grain in now, won't we? It's 800 grams of this. Cover it, add to the brewing container. I don't know if I've got to do this whilst it's on the heat. It doesn't stay. So we'll put that in. Unfermentable sugars. Right, so next. Done, done, done. Hold water around 65 degrees for one hour. Tip, use the hob if the temperature drops too low. I think I need to turn that heat down a tiny tad. And then maybe a little bit more. Uh, put that away. Got to try and control the heat, guys. We're at about 65.9. We're still going up, so let's turn down a little bit more. How do we know it's been an hour? How do I know? Doesn't tell me. Or does it? My, maybe I should look at the clock. Yeah. I'm going to turn that heat up a bit. Oh god, way over temperature. Okay, so I'm going to keep it like there. That's where we're going to... So that's perfect. That 65 degrees. Absolutely perfect. So we're going to go into about... About now, apparently. The unfermentable sugars have stopped, so we should be there. Okay. Alright. Remove steeple grain from brew container. Uh, let's put it that way. No. No, 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 no. I want the... Uh, how do I... How do I take that out? How do I take that out, guys? What do you mean by X? What's X? Oh, okay. So we can go through it more. Ah, I don't know that. How do I... Oh, remove. Okay, so remove that. I'm just gonna just like bung that. Can I bung, bung that some? Move steel grains. Okay, done that. Um, okay, heat war until boiling. Tip: War is the sugary liquid created by adding more extract water. Heat war. Uh, what's war? Where's the war? Not on the end of your nose. Where's the war? Is a sugar liquid by adding malt extract until boiling. So I take it this whole thing is the war, yeah? Is that what they're saying? Look, we go until boiling. Okay, so 100 degrees centigrade. Oh, can we put actually? Can we? Oh, what do I do? Pause it. No, I don't do that. Put lid back. We're actually going. Oh, we are going. Mate, this is a this is really complicated, guys. 
really complicated. We'll get there. We'll have our first beer. I'm probably going to have to do a second video on this. Because there is two we've got to do. Two jobs, yeah? Well, I'm like a thousand times. It's take this. It's like... Oh, hang on. Let's turn it up a little bit more, maybe. Yeah? Can you hear it boiling? Let's get close to that. So what is our next step? Retrieve hops from fridge freezer and add to boil for 50 minutes. Oh my... Really? Alright, so hops. Boil 50 minutes. Cluster 20 grams. Where's the hops to? Oh, cluster. We need 20 grams. Confirm. So once this is reaches 100 degrees centigrade, we've got to boil it for 50 minutes with the cluster. So let's remove that lid. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Don't you look wonderful? And... A little bit more. Can we go up a little bit more, please? Thank you. Right, so then we need to place that item. And we need to boil for 50 minutes. So, about, s okay, 7.50. Now I can just turn this down a slight tad. Too much. No, 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 okay. No, gotta leave it at full, guys, gotta leave it at full. I've gone way over. I've gone way over. Oh, I've got to put more in. No. All right, retrieve hops from the fridge. Rugal, 50 grams of Rugal Green. Oh, crap. We've got to put more in. I didn't see that. What did I say? Hang on, what did I say? 50 grams of Rugal Green. 50 grams. Okay. Remove. And boil for 10 minutes. Okay. And then... Work on the nose well. Okay, and then we need... Remove hot and brew container. Done. Oh, I should have kept them in there. Okay, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> cool water, 20 degrees. Tip, use the canner in the workshop to skip one day. Okay, so let's turn that off. Use the canner to skip a day. Alright. Okay, done that. Uh, done that one. Retrieve a fermentation container from the equipment cupboard and pour water into the fermentation. Okay, so there's the fermentation. So we're going to put this one on. Oh, let's put that there. Uh, we need to pick this one up. How do I pour into this? Tap. Place. Remove lid. There, that guy, see? Alright, and then we've got to pour. Uh, oh, that one there, sorry. My camera's moving all over the place. Okay, stop pouring. Place that one down. Attach the lid. 
Next stamp, retrieve yeast from fridge, freezer, and add to fermentation. Uh, SoCal L1, 150 grams. SoCal L1, what does it say? 150 grams. Oh, what? Oh, I can't, okay. Oh, it's, it's dead on 150 grams. Oh, okay. It's dead on 150 grams. Ah! Oh. Alright, uh, pour 150 grams. Oh, it's a full tub. It's the full pack, let's see. Okay. Done. Leave to ferment. Okay, let's put that one in there. Right. Uh, put the lid back on. Uh, let's pick this one. I want to put this one like here. Just put it out of the way for a bit. Uh, leave to ferment at 20 degrees for 15 days. 15 days. Right, okay. I'm going to skip. 15 days. That's 16. 15 days. Okay. 15 days later, guys. Retrieve other ingredients from the green cover and add to fermentation contain container. Corn, sugar, 200 grams. Corn, sugar, uh, 200 grams. This is 500 gram bag, so let's remove that lid. Oh, we need to oh I keep picking up. Two, what did I say? 200 grams. Oh, God. I've right, got to be precise. So it's five. I need to leave 300 grams. A little bit more. That was way too much. Okay. Way too much. <laughs> Retrieve tube. Uh, okay, so let's put the lid on. Retrieve a tube. And conditioning container from the equipment. Then use the tube to transfer beer to conditioning container. Uh, okay, can I place? Oh, can I place? Thank you. Uh, which is, I'll take it, this is the conditioning chamber. Okay, where do we put this then? Connect tube. Connect tube. Oh, okay. That's going the wrong way. No. Hole to detach tube. Yep, it's going the wrong way. So we want to take it there, into there. There, see how that's going the right way now? Yeah? Is that where we got to go? I kind of feel that's like... Yeah, we're going to put it in there. Right? Right, and then... Open and close. Uh, this is going to take some time. Why is it not moving? Get over there. Or is that it? Is that literally it? Yes, he's not transferring anymore. We done then? Let me speed up time again. That's losing, isn't it? Alright, okay. Let's turn it off then. Um, let's remove the tube. I'll take it. Uh, we need to put the lid back on. Yeah, see all the numbers are stopped now, but lid back on that. Um, we gotta leave two condition for 21 days. Remember to attach the lid, then use candle. Right, 21 days. Mm. 21 days later. So done. Taste and package of beer. Tip, bring the conditioning container to the taps in the tasting room. Wait. 
Where's the tasting room? Tasting room here. Ah, oh, it is the tasting room. We get to taste our beer, guys. <laughs> not gonna lie, tasting something the beer has failed. The tasting test. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna taste this. Additional notes: the batch size of the beer is too small. Adding water to conditioning container can solve this. Okay. All right. So it's not all bad yet. Okay. Sink. Hold clean items. No, I wanna. Can I place? Oh, shizzle. No. How do I? Oh, no. Wanna, can I? How do I put? Do I do that? How do I? Ah, oh, we can do that. Right, okay. And then. Take tube. How much water have we got to add? Uh, too much. Shit. <laughs> That's a little too much. Ah, oh, God. Right, okay. We've got to leave for another 21 days then. Because I've put water in there, I know. I don't know. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's see if it fails. This is so hard to do. You've got to be so precise. Taste beer. Dark, carbonation, very high, okay, batch size, small, 21, clarity, clear, is that good? Malty and sweet, which is what it's got to be, isn't it? Is it alright? Oh, crisp and clean, dark and roasted, malt and sweet. Flavour notes and aroma, chocolate, coffee, charcoal and bread, well we didn't add any of them but that will do me. ABV of 3.14. Uh, bitterness of 7.3 IBUs. Contamination 2.4. Okay. Uh, did we do well? That's all I want to know. Did we do well? Packaging, beer name. It's a stout, isn't it, we're doing? Bow stout, there you go. Style English mid, bottle Belgian glass, yep, yeah, that'll do me. Package of beer. Ah, my name, Bow Stout. Did we do well? I think we did. We completed it. So. And we got the bonus requirement, SRM as at least 20. So I think that was a thumbs up for me. I think that's a thumbs up for the game as well. Yeah. I enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did as well. It's a long, long process. A lot of steps, complications. And yeah, you got, you got to be, yeah, you got to be precise, you know. It is a simulator game at Broom Beer, so you got to be precise. Um, obviously, you know, <sighs> yeah. You, you saw, you watched it. Um, but yeah, that's all I can say. Thumbs up for the game. I actually enjoyed this game. I actually want to play more. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing another episode. If you do want to see Sensational Citrus, though, as an episode, let me know. Um, let me know soon, because if not, I'm actually going to play it by myself, because I actually enjoyed that. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you did. If you did, sm if you did enjoy, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe, show support. Go check the links out in the description. Check out my second channel if you like a good scare. You know, sign up to YouTube Premium so you can get rid of ads. Become a membership, you can get channel member. Sorry, for only 99p, you get a load of benefits there. Go and check them out as well. And uh, yeah, with that said and done, this has been a Brewmaster uh, Beers Simulator. Brewmaster Beer Simulator. That's the one. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.